Jeff here with ATC Trailers, and I'm thrilled to be here today with Ryan Villapoto, multi-time champion, motocross, supercross, and now most recently, an ATC owner. So, Ryan, first of all, thank you so much for choosing ATC. Um, why'd you choose to buy an ATC? Well, uh, I was in the trailer market for, been looking for a little while, and uh, actually had some, have, have some friends that have had ATCs in the past. Um, so I went on and started looking to see all the brands, all the manufacturers, and then what I was after, what my, what my goal was to do with the trailer. Um, I knew I wanted, number one, an aluminum trailer, and mm -hmm. also something that was gonna stay together the life that <laughs> I had the trailer, right? So um, growing up in this industry of, of Supercross, Motocross, and as an amateur, Actually, we still have my dad's 20-foot trailer um, when I was, that we had when I was 12, 13, 14 years old. Um, so I uh, just wanted a good quality product that was going to be with us for as long as we have dirt bikes. Fantastic. Fantastic. But yeah, so I mean, how is it that you're going to be using this trailer? Primarily, what are your use cases and, and such at this so point? So primarily will be uh, for dirt bikes. Okay. Um, but I also, when I ordered and built this trailer, we added the six inch height to it so okay. that I can, that I could get a side by side in it because we are in Southern California. Um, I wanted to be able to take the boys out every now and then. We're not huge side-by-siders, mm -hmm. but I wanted the ability to be able to do that. Um, and everything in the past that I have had hasn't had that ability. So I went with the, the extra height so we could uh, go out to the desert and go have some fun on four wheels along with um, being able to take it to the track and it, it serves all purposes for, for us. Sure. So what all types of stuff are you going to be putting in here? I mean, that height is obviously important. But what are some of the taller items that you want to have ability to carry with you? Well, the tallest item that uh, I'd be sticking in there currently would be uh, the R-Max that Yamaha has. Okay. Um, that's a four-seater side-by-side. Um, like I said, with being where we're located, we have, have thousands and thousands of acres of, of desert yeah. and, and places to go and, and, uh, and run those side-by-sides. So that'll probably be my, my biggest ticket item that okay. goes in there. Like I said, 90% of, of the trailer's life will probably be or will be with what's behind us, uh, the dirt bikes, um, you know, my, my YZF 250 and the kids' bikes and things mm -hmm. like that. And as they grow, their bikes get bigger. And as we get the farther down the long of the road, it's bicycles, it's stay six, it's, I needed the footage. I needed yep. the square footage. Yeah, yeah. And you went with the eight and a half by 20 foot trailer. So it gives you a fair bit of real estate still in the trailer. It's our Rome 550, which means right. it has our configurable life track system in it. So we'll get into showing that here in a little bit too. But that, that's right. Yeah. Uh, now, one thing you did mention too is you used to have some other trailers in the past, but how, how does this trailer compare to some of the past trailers that you've had? and such well fit and finish number one is is uh is by far uh some of the nicest stuff that i've seen um love that it's aluminum i love that uh you're able to build this rome 550 with every configuration that you would want to use so i built it to how my the specifications that i wanted uh, and what i thought was going to be best for us so yeah you selected the rome 550 it's our configurable car hauler with life track and we'll get into the accessories that you selected and chose where you can move and remove and put them all over we'll look at that inside that's but, right um, but yeah why don't we take a look at some of the features that we've got up here on the front of the trailer ryan that were at least important yeah. to you yeah yeah um up here what what was important to you up here in the front well, number one, um, the very very last thing I added to this order order sheet was this uh, electric jack. Um, I was going to go for the old crank crank uh, manual mechanism, but uh, last minute I added the electric jack, which is an awesome feature. Um, we also added 48 gallons of water to this build. I have my uh, my spigot outlet right here. There is a water pump also inside underneath the cabinets that you guys will see here in a little bit. Uh, for motorcycle use, uh, it's huge to have water on board when you're out. Uh, in places that don't have spigots, that don't have water, we're able to wash. And then also with the motorhome that I, uh, I have 48 gallons of extra water. If I just have, I need to pump it into my rig, I can do that. So you can never have enough water um, and I like to have that, that option. Yeah. Uh, the other really cool thing about the Rome 550 and this package that we have here is the tongue box um, storage compartment where I will keep uh, excess hoses, um, my sh shore power cord, um, all of my chocks and blocks for the trailer. Uh, that way I'm not throwing any of the back of my pickup or having to put them inside and go in the trailer. It's all accessible right here by um, just this cotter key that I'm able to take off and grab everything right on the fly. I'll probably even, if I'm, if I'm out racing or we're out riding and racing and we, we're using the water and the pressure washer and all of that, this, this storage compartment will also house um, you know, pressure washer uh, cords mm -hmm. and, 
and uh, and simple greens and things like that yeah. when we're stationary. Yeah, it just keeps all the things out of the inside of the trailer so you don't have to compromise your cabinet space in there and so forth. And this is a great kind of exterior storage area. I, I see you're using it well. Yep, yeah, I love it. Love to have it. And also, number one, it makes it really easy to walk between each side of the trailer. Instead of stepping on the frame rails, you can actually have a full platform to step on. Awesome. The Rome 550 trailer that Ryan purchased here has some great features on it. Um, one thing that I know Ryan said was really important to him was the fact that you got the thicker skins on the outside. This one has the 040 thick skins. And what that does is kind of help keep the exterior from oil canning. Uh, and then I noticed you already had a ceramic ceramic coat job put on it. Yep, yep, yeah, yeah. So I like the thickness of, of the walls or the, or the uh, outside of the trailer. I have seven-year-old twin boys, and you know how that is. They're either leaning bikes up, bicycles, everything against the trailer. So it's nice to have a little extra thickness. Yeah, yeah. It looks sharp, and that ceramic coating, pretty, pretty It slick, is, yeah. So, it yeah. makes it good, yeah, for, yep. especially for keeping all the... Our, our sun's pretty harsh out here, and yeah. the, I don't have it covered, unfortunately, but uh, the ceramic coating is the best I can do. Perfect. And then I see you got the stereo speakers on the outside. We have speakers yep. inside and outside. That's right. Yeah, I, uh, I always like to listen to some music when we're out uh, either in the desert or at the track. So that was actually one of the last things I had also put on the trailer was, yeah. was the radio um, for, you know, just to have the ability to some of the races that you can go to um, in our industry. You, they do have a, a, a radio station you can keep up and keep track of what's going on at the races, kind of mm -hmm. like drag racing does. Yeah. So I wanted to have that ability to do that because once you get it here, there's no option of putting it in. For sure, for sure. And then we also optioned for the life track on the outside of the trailer. So most of the components we have that are interior, you can move, you can shake, you can put them wherever you want, but we do have some features that actually go exterior. Yes. We have a table, different things like that, and we're developing more stuff. So you'll actually be able to put your table outside and all of that stuff as well. I, I really like the, the life track. We'll get into seeing more of that really inside the trailer, but we do have it here on the exterior. Interior, um, and I see the future of for, for myself bringing that table out, having a place to put your goggles, your helmet, um, and maybe even a light toolbox off the side that, that you know mm -hmm. that's that that is lighter. Um, so you're not going in and out of the trailer. So I really like having that option of being able to uh, you know hang things off the off the side of the trailer. So you don't have to bring your duty, dirty boots inside and, and outside and get your nice. inside just to tore up. On the exterior of the trailer, I see you also option for an awning. So give you some shade, that's just a 12 volt power awning. Yep, yeah, super nice to be able to have. So I'm not carrying around easy ups. I can always bring an easy up if I would like to, but it's nice to have it just on this, uh, you know, an awning on the side of the trailer. Um, keep it, the sun's pretty harsh out here, like I said. Uh, so that's nice to have it out and be able to cover our bikes that we, that we put out front. Um, and just get yeah get a little shade and, and uh, have a good chill out session. Yeah. So yeah, tell me about your bikes that uh, that you're bringing along here. Yeah. So I have a, a 2024 YZ250F. That's my primary uh, motorcycle. And then I have Gage Gage's Cobra and Brax's Cobra right here next to it. So this is these are kind of a, if you call it race bikes, these are what we race and ride on every you know on the weekends yep. and uh, and take the boys out to have a lot of fun. So here at the back of the trailer, Ryan, you can start to see kind of what you created with with uh, your your desire for all your options and features in the Rome 550. Yep. Uh, I see you chose the rubber coin floor. Yep. Um, probably gives you good traction going in and out. Yep. I've I've, I've dealt with coin floor in the past with okay. some vans that I have built. It's very durable floor. Uh, it's easy to wash, um, and it's got like you said good traction, and it also looks good when yeah. you, when this thing's uh, you know sitting out and it's all all. Uh, all been cleaned out and cleaned up. It's uh, like it is right now. It, it looks, it's a good floor and it's hardy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we actually changed over to a different type of rubber coin floor some time ago. So it actually has like a fabric skim on the back. Okay. So it really adheres well into the substrate. Awesome, so awesome. It's, it's not going anywhere. Good. Um, and then also up here at the back, we've got the spoiler system with the light. So you've got the switch if you're loading your bikes at night. But what's nice is those lights actually also work off of your reverse circuit on your truck. Uh, and then I noticed you also had the lights on the side, so you've got all kinds of light when you're backing up anyway. That's right, yeah. When I'm towing the, you know, I t tow this with my Ram 2500 or my motorhome. Um, you know, motorhome in the trailer, you're probably close to 65, 68 feet. So it's really nice to be able to have the, the dock lights on the side when you're backing up along with the, the, the lights on the spoiler. So um, when you're backing into, into dark places or tight places, you, you, yeah. know, you get, get somebody out to help you back in, but they, there's light in the uh, and you're able to see exactly what you're doing. Yeah, for sure. Well, as we go into the inside of the trailer, we'll start to really see what LifeTrack does. And LifeTrack is ATC's proprietary design where we have um, multiple tracks, a top track and a bottom track in each one of our 50 series trailers. And this one is a Rome 550. Uh, and what that allows you to do is 
move any one of these features in here, uh, remove them, put them wherever you want. And so Ryan, this is kind of cool for me because I kind of had an idea how we wanted to set this up when we delivered it to yeah. you, but I can see you've kind of changed things around, put it the way you want to do it. So. Yeah, yeah. So the, 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 the awesome thing about the Rome 550 and the life track system is like you said, you can you can configure the trailer any way that that, that you're gonna that's gonna work best for you. So mm -hmm. when this trailer actually showed up, I had the cabinets that were that are up on the up on the the top life track right now. They were actually vertical. Well, I turned them horizontally um, and uh, moved a couple little things around just for how I was gonna use the trailer and how I thought was best for me and a daily usage. Mm -hmm. All right, so Ryan, tell me about some of the options and features that you wanted here with, with your life track system anyway. Yeah, so for the life track system, this, this tie downs, with the amount of tie downs that I have, I'm always uh, untangling tie downs, pulling them out of drawers. So that was one feature that I really wanted to add to the trailer is to keep all the tie downs uh, together. Um, here we have the airline track too. Where I had them put it all, uh, basically as you see, it's, it's pretty much everywhere on the floor. Um, I wanted to be able to tie, make sure I had any place or tied a motorcycle down pretty much anywhere in this trailer from 50s to big bikes. So I wanted to have um, as much tie down surface area as I can. Um, also depending on, you know, pulling a side by side in, we also have the, the, the major D ring hooks that are in the floor for the, uh, the, the weight of a side by side. So. You can pretty much tie down every, anything and everything mm -hmm. in this trailer from the life track systems on the walls to the floors. Uh, we can tie down anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the floor airline track is uh, fantastic for tying down all kinds of things. And we've got uh, multiple high, uh, tie down uh, clips that go in there. I'll make sure you get those as well. But yeah, so you've got all kinds of tie downs there. On the wall, the life track system is a separate system, but yep. um, for remarkably uh, versatile in, in that as well. Yeah, so like I said, we have these the life track systems over here and we have our the nice bench that we have uh, inside this trailer. The cool thing is, is I can either add another bench to the driver's side or I can take this bench from the passenger side and move it over to the driver's side very, very quickly. So having the uh, as many options as, as life track offers is what's very key about this trailer. Mm -hmm. And what's great about the sofa then too is when you do have your bikes in here, you know, this rolls over nice and easy so that you can then pin it up against the wall. And then when you're in transport, you know, the legs fold in and so forth, you got lots yep. of room for your, your motorcycles and such in here then too. And up here at the front, uh, I see Ryan, you got that 30 inch countertop here. Like I said, goes inside or outside, but what's really nice too is this will fold up against the wall so it's completely out of the way, or you can go ahead and put it outside. And we actually put it on uh, dual track. So that way, when you have it inside, you hook it up to the bottom track. When you go to the outside, you hook it to the top track, which means it's always at the appropriate height for you. Yeah, it's, uh, that's what's really cool about, like I said, being able to flip this table up. Or you know what, uh, Jeff, I might end up getting two from you and oh. having this one stationary and never leaving yeah. the inside of the trailer and I'll put, store the other one in here and then I can have one yeah. on the outside. There's never enough, uh, you can't ever have enough <laughs> counter space yeah. um, with two kids. For sure, for sure. But yeah, tell me about, uh, we have the dual helmet holder up here. Yep. You've got one helmet. Uh, two helmets up there right now anyway, but what all do you have going on up here? Yeah, so when this one of the cool things, like I had mentioned, I, I kind of configured this when this trailer got here. I kind of configured these a little bit different. The helmet rack was over here. It took me about five minutes to change. I moved it over here, a little more accessible for how I was going to use it. Um, I got my helmet up there now. Um, I got my gear hung right here. Um, you know, and, and these cabinets here I'm using for goggles right now for us. Kids boots here. Um, so yeah, just, we have storage everywhere in here, which is really, really nice. Um, mm -hmm. and love the opportunity or the, the idea of if those don't work there tomorrow, I can move them to the passenger side or vice versa mm -hmm. or flip them vertical. So there's, there's, there's multiple ways to skin this cat and that's what I love about it. Yeah. And these are the, um, 12 inch tall by 24 inch long. And one of the things you were mentioning is that you're trying to see if maybe you get some taller items in there. Yep. We do actually make this in an, um, 18 inch tall by 24 too. And again, your track systems here, we can go ahead and ship some of those out to you. And now you've got more, more versatile storage. Exactly. Like if you invest in a uh, Rome 550, that doesn't mean you need to build it out just like this. You can do that over time. And that's, what's great about having, that you guys developing new products all the time is what they might not have something that you're exactly looking for currently, but in right down the road, Hey, we need this. Hey, we need that. They have it. We're working on a, a motorcycle wheel chalk right now 
for uh, for the life track system um, with the guys over at ATC and Jeff. So it's uh, it, it's it's going to be a fun project for us. Yeah, and with you being a product ambassador for us, we're thrilled about having you on board and helping give further direction to products and what works and how we need to tweak some things. Um, that's one of the things that's going to be fantastic. Is like you said, because you have the life track you know, over the next quarter, the next quarter, the quarter after that, we're gonna have new options and features, and guess what? It's all gonna work into the trailer that you have today. That's that's unbelievable, because that's one thing, it's like you, you invest in this, and all of a sudden, it's like, you know, it's either out of date, or you come out with new products that you, that doesn't fit your trailer. If you invest in the life track system, everything they're developing fits on that life track system, so in the future. So that's what I'm looking forward yeah. to see, what kind of products we can come up with. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But yeah, down here I see you've got your fuels um, yep. and so forth. Yep, so I, uh, right now I, can, I have some uh, uh, Cobra fuel here. The cans are for, the plastic cans are for mine. Uh, my bikes, uh, it's good because the, the cans tend to fall over when you drive, so love to, they'll love to have them in the, uh, the holders. Um, also, behind us here we have this awesome uh, cabinet here that I'm using also as the boys' uh, closet. So I have all, all the boys' uh, gloves, chest protectors, um, there's another helmet right there. Uh, everything we need is in here. I'm using this trailer basically as a second garage. Um, with twin boys, it's very hard to keep track of where your gloves are, where your gear's at, <laughs> and bringing it in and out. So I like to bring everything, and actually after we wash it, we bring it back inside the trailer. So when I yeah. just hook up to the truck, um, I, ha I know I have everything in here. Nice, nice. And yeah, in terms of the electrical system that we have down here as well, we've got uh, a lithium battery down here as well. Uh, the the battery actually has a an app, so it actually works off of uh, Bluetooth as well, and so you can check to see how full your battery is and so forth. But the lithium battery is going to be uh, something to make sure you've got power for a long time out on the yeah. road anyway. Yeah, really really cool um, that we're able to. And everything in this trailer is LED, which is is one thing mm -hmm. that you know is, is is nice, so it doesn't suck down the battery. We also have a we're able to see how much water we have in here, where our battery voltage is also. So yeah, Ryan, in this trailer also, I see you've got an air conditioner. Yeah, yeah, I definitely wanted to get uh, AC um, uh, in, in a trailer this size. Also, it, it also has a heat strip. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so there's certain times we have, we have some major uh, swings. It can be super cold at Glen Helen, or it could be really hot depending on yeah. what it is. So have an AC, also have a, have a heater in this. Um, also, we have a fan in the back. Mm -hmm. uh, of this trailer just to suck the fumes. One thing that I haven't, we haven't talked about on this trailer, which I think is, a, is pretty cool, is the vent system that you're able to oh, open yeah. up right here, Chase. Yeah. Um, you can open it up both ways, uh, forward so it sucks it in, and there's actually another one on the passenger side um, down low, so it'll really create a draft when you're driving. Uh, they're basically air scoops, mm -hmm. uh, which is really cool, because if anybody's ever opened a trailer door up in a, in a, in a drag tra car trailer, or a moto trailer, it smells, the fumes are, are uh, will knock you on your butt. So yeah, those uh, cross flow vents, the Salem vents, that's gonna help get fresh air in, it brings it in through here, recirculates it, puts it out the back of the trailer, like you said, so it doesn't smell like a old workshop when you're stepping in here anyway. But yeah, with that, uh, we did talk about the air conditioner it is fully insulated on this, because I know that was important to you as well. Yep. Um, but no, Ryan, I think you just did a fantastic job with kind of laying this trailer out in a way that works for you. Um, and I will say when we saw your order come in for Ryan Villapoto, I mean, we were pretty, we were pretty pumped. So, um, and you coming on board as a product ambassador, uh, doing some events together this summer. Um, yeah. Really excited about the trailer that you've got and some of the guidance that you're gonna be uh, given to our product development. Um, yeah, just a big thank you, Ryan. Uh, it's great to have you on board. Well, thank you, Jeff. Yeah, I'm looking forward to our for for to, for our partnership that we're that we're entering in now, and uh, hopefully get out some some different events. Um, yeah. Obviously, very very involved in the motorcycle industry, but I know you guys are very uh, you know heavily into the drag racing side, mm -hmm. which um, I am certified at yeah. 170. So <laughs> uh, let's go, baby. Let's go.